Namaste yogis and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt and today I have a beautiful yin yoga class for you guys that I've put together. We're going to be working on the shoulders, the spine, the neck, pretty much all the upper torso which is an area that we don't quite often address in yin yoga. So today it's all about, it's all going to be about the upper body and we're going to start just sitting down. All you need for today's class is your yoga mat. You can drop your shoulder blades back down. Your hands can be on your knees or you can put the back of your hands on top of your knees, touching your thumb and index finger together in a meditative state here. I'm going to invite you to slow down your breathing, closing your eyes. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Just slowing down your thoughts and everything around you right now. There's really no rush today. This is a beautiful class for us to practice self-care. Doing something that feels good and will leave us feeling amazing at the end of the class. So I'm going to leave you with your thoughts here. Just keep focusing on your breath in and out through the nose. And we can slowly open our eyes. So I'm just going to invite you to place your hands at the front of your knees here. And we're just going to move our spine backwards and to the left and then forward and around here. Just loosening up very gently our shoulders and spine. So it's kind of like a little dance here when you can just do what feels good w moving through the motion and we can go backwards and to the right just take your time here you can close your eyes and you can spin your head around as well it's all about doing gentle movements here loosening up everything from the waist up And coming back to center, we can just roll our head gently from right to left, going around, doing gentle circles here. And we can go left to right. So do not force anything or strain your neck here. You're just trying to go through the movements 
peacefully and calmly here. And we can come back to center. So from here, we're gonna be stretching our neck. So I'm gonna invite you to raise the right arm above your head, holding on to the left side of the head. And then we're just gonna pull our head to the right here, placing the left hand on the floor, taking some deep breath in and out through the nose. And then from here, we're just gonna raise our arm up very slowly until it jumps and then lower it very gently here. This will help lengthen the neck and provide a different stretch as we move up and down here. So we'll do three more times. back to center and now this time the left hand will go up and around holding on to the right side of the head pulling our head to the right and then placing the right hand on the floor as we pull our head to the left sorry that's what I meant so let's keep breathing deeply as we raise the right arm up until it blocks and then gently down. You can repeat the movement here. So just go very gently on your own time. We're gonna do five repetitions. So I got two more to go. You should feel a nice stretch on the right side of your neck here as you keep pulling with your left hand. And we can release coming back to center. So if you want, you can just bring your chin to your chest and then bring the head back up. We're just going to do yes motion with our neck here. And now we can do the no motion, so left to right. And from here, we're just gonna raise our forearms up, holding on to our elbows here, and we're just gonna twist left to right very gently. So go to the max that you can without forcing too much on the left side. And then we go to the right. And coming back to center here, we're gonna take one big inhale. On the exhale, the left hand will come to the exterior edge, the right hand, sorry, to the exterior edge of the left knee. And then we're just gonna twist our upper torso to the left, placing the left hand on the floor behind ourselves and just holding that spinal twist here. As we reconnect with our breath once more. can try to push with your right hand, deepening the twist, going a little further back here.
can release the position. Coming back to center, taking a moment to reset our spine with a few deep breaths here, closing your eyes. And we're going to take one big inhale. Exhale. The left hand go to the exterior edge of the right knee as we twist our upper torso and turn it to the right, placing the right hand behind ourselves on the floor. And looking back, going into a spinal twist on the right side this time. So creating space within the spine allows for a better flow of electric impulses as everything travels up and down through our nerves endings in the spine. So when we create space within the spine, we increase the output of electrical impulses that can circulate throughout our bodies more freely. And this is why we feel so much better after we stretch our spine. So we can release the twist very gently, coming back to center once more, taking some deep breath as we reset our spine. And I'm going to invite you to turn on your knees facing your yoga mat. So we're going to bring our knees to the edges of our yoga mat, bring our glutes in contact with our heels. And from here, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to stretch our shoulders from the wide knee child's pose. So I'm going to invite you to just walk your hands a little bit forward. And from here, we're going to bring the left forearm to the right the right forearm to the left and we're just going to lower ourselves down placing some weight on our shoulders here as we keep our glutes in contact with our heels dropping up our upper torso body weight on our elbows and then stretching out the shoulders from the wide knee child's pose so let's close our eyes and Again, enjoy how this feels, opening up the space in our upper back.
And we can push ourselves back up here. Just taking a little moment to reset as we're gonna switch to our arms to do the other side. So from here, the right forearm will go to the left and then the left one will go to the right. So we're just switching up the position of our elbows. So if the right elbow was in front of the left, now the left, the left one, sorry, is in front of the right. And then we place our body weight on our elbows here as we enjoy the stretch in our shoulders. And we can slowly push ourselves up on crossing our arms. And from here, we're gonna stretch our upper back again. So we're gonna take one big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna walk our hands forward, bringing the forehead to rest on the floor. And just lengthening our spine to the best that we can here. Finding stillness and reconnecting with our breath. From here we can walk our hands to the left and then bring our forehead back to the floor. We're going to stretch the right side of our body here. This should feel really good. You should feel a long stretch from your right armpit all the way down to almost the right hip. If you don't then just go further to the left until you do. From here we can push ourselves up, slowly walking our hands to the right this time, 
And then lowering ourselves down, bringing the forehead to the floor and then filling that deep stretch on the left side of the body here. And we can push ourselves back up. And from here, we can move our hips forward, walking our knees to the center of our yoga mat, crossing our legs, rolling back onto our glutes and extending our legs in front of us. We're gonna be lowering ourselves down into Savasana, our final position for today. So get comfortable on your yoga mat. Bring the back of your hands to rest on the floor. And then close your eyes. Reconnect with your breath. And just notice the flow of energy moving more freely throughout your spine, your shoulders, your neck, your upper back. It should be quite noticeable if you pay attention as you keep breathing in and out through the nose.
So just keep scanning your body from your toes to the top of your head, looking for any tight areas that you could send your breath to, using your breath to loosen up any tension in that area. As we slowly drift to conclude today's class and carry on with our days.